And at a young age, he was abandoned by his parents. He struggled, survived, and succeeded. He is an inspiration for us all. Kes Valdez did not give up on life. Today, he is a shining symbol of our youth. His kind is rare. He is among the best and the brightest. Christine Santos shares with us his journey in life. A scavenger turned achiever? Not impossible. Chris Valdez began life unwanted by his parents and was soon scavenging in a rubbish dump. An unlikely start for a boy now hailed as an inspiration for children around the world. 13-year-old Chris won last year's International Children Peace Prize for his work as head of a charity organization that educates out gifts to thousands of youngsters in his poverty plague hometown. South African human rights activist and Nobel Prize winner Desmond Tutu gave Valdez his award at a ceremony in the Netherlands, declaring him a voice for the voiceless and a true inspiration. Valdez said his novel philosophies emerged from personal devastation and the people who turned his life around. The giving became a yearly tradition and led to the creation of Valdez's own charity, called Championing Community Children. Under a church leader's guidance, Valdez built the charity into one that raises funds from private donors to buy basic living items for children, including sandals, toys, food, and clothes. According to the judging committee of the International Children's Peace Prize, the charity has helped 10,000 children in Cavite over the past six years. Valdez's plans for the immediate future are to continue with this charity, while making sure his schoolwork does not suffer from his busy schedule. Eventually, he wants to work in one of the toughest jobs of all, while expanding his charity work. Valdez said he is studying hard to be a doctor, to help more children not only in the Philippines but also in other countries. For People's Television, this is Christine Santos.